If you follow deep learning, you have heard of this name Geoffrey Hinton. He is considered the greatest in this field today, but 30 years back, his views on AI and neural networks were considered contrarian. In 1987, J.J. Thompson gets Nobel Prize for saying electron has a particle nature. And 30 years later, his son, G. Thompson, gets Nobel Prize for saying electron has a wave nature. And then we talk about the dual nature. So, and then comes Hessenberg, who says that, hey, you cannot determine anything. It's impossible to simultaneously determine the position and momentum of an object and del x dot del p is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi. And Hessenberg, as a student, had contradicted Einstein. He was Einstein's student. Imagine the guts, the power, the conviction in the truth of someone uh, who, who, who gets up and contradicts Einstein in a class. Because Einstein and Hessenberg were, were having differences of opinion on, on several issues, but we have benefited from them both. What Einstein talked about in 1916 was validated 100 years later with modern instruments and, 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 uh, and advancements. In 2016, 100 years later, we could validate Einstein's gravitational waves. So if you talk about the, the, the history of, 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 if you talk about the modern history, right from the days of Copernicus to, to Galileo Galilei to Dalton, Rutherford, Niel Bohr, uh, Einstein, Hessenberg, one thing is certain that contrarian views have helped us grow. They are not a barrier, they are not a hindrance to our path of growth. This is really why I do not like why social media companies are trying to block and banish people from their from social media just because they have a contrarian view just because someone is not believing a, a believing in the pandemic or the coronavirus we cannot block their profiles let's try to hear them out why they have a certain opinion we cannot outrightly say that hey someone is a climate naysayer and we will be blocking their profile no let's try to 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 hear them out the problem is that they're not being heard why do you think that climate change is a hoax and it doesn't exist? Because I can see that there are erratic and false. So if someone is saying that climate change is a hoax, I want to listen to them. Because the very idea of science is that you cannot have ideologies in science. There has to be a logical truth. Is it plus basic or to salt plus water? You cannot give an ideological twist and spin it around your, 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 your thought process. So this is why companies like Google, YouTube, Facebook, when they say that we are going to block user profiles uh, who will be speaking against climate change, this is gross injustice to human race because what we are today is the result of contrarian views. If we are going to shield ourselves from any such, from all such contrarian views, and if you want to walk on a unilateral path, we are really going to be at a loss collectively.